Alrighty, so just to carry on, with uh, the terrain, once you've got a flattened terrain, uh, you're now able to either raise up mountains out of it or to dig out valleys. Now, uh, in Unity here, when you have your terrain selected, so you notice in my hierarchy I've selected terrain, on the right hand side in the inspector, there are two brushes that you can use. Now, I'm going to use the one on the left for raising and lowering terrain. Now, there's a set of different brushes you can use. Uh, and also you can change the brush size here on the slider. Uh, the opacity refers to the sensitivity of it. So the, the higher the opacity, the, the more the uh, terrain will react. So you can see here, if I set it very low and come over here with my brush and press, you can see it makes a little lump. You can sort of see there's a tiny hill. If I increase the opacity right up and do the same thing, you can see it's a lot more sensitive. Okay. So, um, I'll just undo those. So that's briefly how to do it. Obviously you have lots of different types of brushes. Uh, what you may want to do is start off by sculpting out some sort of hill, um, some sort of range, it's a bit too high, something like that, which obviously doesn't look an awful lot like a hill or a mountain, uh, but then use some of the other brushes, for example uh, this one here, and just lower the opacity down a little bit, um, and then just go through and actually sculpt up a bit so it starts to look a little more like a mountain. Okay, so you can see you can start to add some details and you can zoom in as far as you want obviously and then just reduce the brush size and the opacity and you can make some quite fine adjustments to your um, to your terrain. All right, So that's how you sculpt up mountains. Uh, if you want to do uh, a valley, all you do is you hold down shift and then click and it will drag it out and there what I've done, oops, sorry, is I have dug into the terrain. All right. So just clicking and dragging will lift the terrain, holding down shift will dig into it. Uh, and lastly, if you find that you've done something like this and you want to remove it, uh, the best way to do it is to go to the second option here, which is the paint height. And uh, I'll just grab a different brush. If I hold down shift and click on the terrain itself at, at a given height, it samples that height. So everywhere that I now draw, click and drag, it sets the height of that to wherever I sampled. And that can be quite useful obviously for erasing a mistake like that, uh, but also you could create you know, flat roads or paths through a mountain range with it. So there's the, uh, the two, two tools you can use to sculpt. We have the paint height where you can sample and then set a height, or the first tool for raising and lowering terrain. Okay, that's all.